it opens up your eyes to things you never saw before. You see, out of everybody in this world, to a Muhammad, a Buddha, a Confucius, any theologian, any um, any type of professor, any type of scientist, any kind of atheist who is well renowned, nobody ever claimed this very thing. I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. You see, everybody claimed to have it, but Jesus Christ claimed that he was the truth. God bless those that are leaving. Amen. Amen, amen. Preach. I don't know about you, I don't know where your blind spots are, but I know where mine was. You see, because I'm from the projects. I grew up in the projects, a little bit in Queens, a little bit in Brooklyn. 14 years old, I gave my life to Christ. 14 years old, I got jumped and I almost died. 14 years old, my mom kicked me out. I became a homeless man for nine years. I used to sleep on this train. I used to smoke weed on that on this train. I, I used to rob people. I used to steal. I've been locked up in jail, in the county, in Mineola. I could tell you about some things. I could tell you about hungry nights, sleepless nights, sleeping on rooftops, people's cars, running the trains with garbage bags full of my stuff, humiliating my life, feeling like I would amount to nothing. I could tell you about some pain. I could tell you about some struggle. Is there anybody that can identify tonight? Maybe you've never been through what I've been through, but we all been through a struggle. We all been to a, a place where we could not see further than what, a, what we could throw a stone. But I'm here to tell you tonight that there's a truth, and this is the truth, that the gospel of Jesus Christ can change your life. That the gospel of Jesus Christ, when you believe it in your heart by faith, it will change you and your identity and even who you think you are. Because who you think you are tonight, my friends, I tell you that's not who you are. Whatever this world tells you you are, that's not who you are. That's not the truth. The truth is the creator in heaven made man in his image. You are made in the image of God. There is greatness inside of you. There is potential inside of you. There is a power that is waiting to be released and it can only be released through the power of the Holy Spirit. But we can't get that spirit unless we receive Christ. You see, the truth about Christ is this. Everybody will accept everything else, but when it comes to Jesus, don't say his name. Come on now, preach. Don't, don't talk about him. That's right. What's interesting is that the Bible tells me a lot of things that happen in the prophetic events, meaning things that's going to happen ahead of time, and he tells us these things beforehand. If, if Jesus was just a prophet, my friends, if that was the truth of the situation, if he was just a man, then why are little children and men and women being beheaded in the Middle East because they have faith? in Jesus Christ. It doesn't make any sense. Why is it that if Jesus was just a man and this Bible is just a book, why is it that in Oklahoma State they removed the Ten Commandments from the place where they have their courthouse? See, I'll tell you why. Because there's going to be a rejection against Christ. He says, many are called, few are chosen. My friends, I come to tell you the truth that when Jesus comes to your life, he changes everything about you. Amen. Even to the way you see things that people say, is, it is what it is. No, 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 that's not what it is. That's wrong. That's false. That's deception. That's a lie from the enemy. You start to see with spiritual eyes. You see, because 14 plus 9 equals 23. That's how long I was homeless. Today, I'm 27. The week before I turned 24, God blessed me with a place to live. I'm not homeless no more. I used to smoke weed for eight years, cigarettes for seven, Hallelujah. popping ecstasy pills and drinking liquor. October 1st, this year, I'm now four years clean. How? In the power. How? In the blood. How? <laughs> Come on. How is that possible? No rehab? No. No government help? No. No nicotine patches? No. None of that. I'll tell you what I did. I got on my knees and I asked forgiveness from the Father. And when I pleaded for mercy from God, he gave me Jesus Christ. Because this is the gospel, my friends, that Christ died on the cross bearing our sin. Remember that law that I was telling you about? Remember that law about that felon? That they had that stain on their record? That wherever they go, they're known as that felon. They're known as the offender of the law. You see, you and I are offenders of God's law. There's mm. nothing we can do about Hallelujah. That that Hallelujah. The Bible says that all have fallen short of the glory of God. There is not one here who could say they have never sinned in their life. 
Just because I stand here and I minister or I speak with a certain tone, it doesn't make me better than you. You see, because in the day of judgment, when Christ comes, we will all stand before the glory of God. And we will all have to answer for what we have done in our lives and even in the midst of our thoughts. But my friends, I come here to tell you today, that could be wiped away clean. Because when